Now, comic Mark Watson is doing a 25-hour non-stop comedy improvisation show for Comic Relief. He's just over the halfway mark, if you'll excuse the pun, at the uh, Pleasant Theatre in Islington. And hopefully he can break off from his marathon of mirth to have a word with us. Uh, Mark, are you there? Yes, sir, I am. Hello. Um, Are they all booing? Because I've stopped you telling them jokes, presumably. Oh, I was never doing that. <laughs> never, never, never. Was that uh, laugh? No, the, the audience is actually... We've just been raptly listening to Radio 4 for a bit. It's been nice. <laughs> are they all asleep? <laughs> he knows that's a joke. No, I'm getting more jokes. I'm getting more laughs than you are. <laughs> I'm not sure that's entirely true, old boy. I think I say over the past 14 hours, I'm still narrowly in the lead. <laughs> Now, I, I actually did stand up comic, uh, for, uh, stand up comedy for Comic Relief a couple of years ago, uh, a bit of pre- presenter self immolation, and I, I found four minutes tough. How much have you had to plan this? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously it's not. It's been rigorously planned from start <laughs> to finish. Um, well, uh, almost nothing's been planned, Peter. It's, it's basically, as you say, been an enormous exercise in um, bizarre improvisation. A lot of it's been audience participation-based, it's fair to say. But, um, I don't know, yeah, I mean, uh, by all accounts, you were very good when you did stand-up, actually. Uh, four <laughs> minutes of jokes is a long time. Four minutes of just doing... A lot of the show's been admin, and you'd be surprised how much time can be filled like that, but you're out of my ear. Well, you're filling in forms, it's... you mean. Hang on, I can hear him all along. Oh, of course I... <laughs> Sorry, what was that, Peter? I said you've been filling in forms, then. Is that how you've been making them laugh? Not exactly that level of admin, but, uh, uh, yeah, there's been a lot of organisation. Given that, it's been surprisingly entertaining. I would also add that I spoke to Sir Bob Geldof recently. (laughs) (laughs) Now, you did one of these before, and rather like Steve Redgrave, you said you'd never do it again. What changed your mind? (laughs) Uh, Comic relief changed my mind, basically. I don't think I've ever done it again for the kind of uh, futile reasons of uh, attention-seeking that, that motivated me to do all the previous ones, but this is a massive fundraising collaboration and I found it hard to resist the idea of um, doing an enormous uh, sponsorship challenge. It's not just me, loads of people are doing all sorts of bizarre sponsored things at the same time. So, uh, yeah, it was, the, it was the lure of doing something for a, a genuinely good cause and uh, helping to counter, in particular, malaria. Right, <laughs> good. Well... <laughs> I, I have to, you, well done for getting that in. I have to say, at the beginning of the programme, we asked people to help you by sending us their consumer affairs jokes. Uh, we haven't had any. Oh, I'm glad <laughs> you did that. <laughs> there is one. Can I try this one? Hang on, OK. All, ma- all, all, all listen. Uh, all hush for a consumer affairs joke. A man asks a bartender, how can I find a good lawyer? Ask if he's had the operation. What operation's that? Bartender replies, the one where they remove... All his scruples. It's right. not going down a storm. It's... <laughs> That's why you're doing it and not our listeners. <laughs> Mark... well, I suppose basically that is what happens, yeah. Um, good good luck. Good, good... Thanks, and... Peter. We're still, we, we've had quite a bit of good luck and, and thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, yeah, send us cake. Thank you, mate. Bye. Cake coming. <laughs> Right, so that's Mark Watson, and he's doing very well. We might just pop in on it right at the end of the programme.